Welcome back to the channel. I would like to tell you about two really nice fighters I met when I was a young kid, Duke McKenzie and Clinton McKenzie. They were not only great boxers but also really good guys down to earth. Duke McKenzie was a fantastic boxer. He became a world champion in three different weight classes like flyweight, bantamweight and super bantamweight. He fought in four different weight categories and did really well. His brother uh, Clinton wasn't as successful as Duke. He won fights in welterweight and light welterweight, European uh, welterweight championships, but he held it only for a short time. No matter how great they were in the ring, Duke and Clinton were friendly and humble outside of it. I remember the first time I met them at Sir Phillips Boxing Club in Croydon when I was a kid. Also, they were a young kid as well. But when I was about to step into the boxing ring for the first time and was really nervous, Duke saw me shaking and told me to relax. He showed me how to box and taught me to protect myself and move correctly. Duke McKenzie is a rare talent in a British boxing. One of the top 10 boxers the UK has ever produced who won in different weight classes at the world level. Alongside other great boxers like Joe Galzaghi, Nigel Benn, Ricky Hatton, David Hayes and more. It's true that Britain doesn't produce as many great boxers as it used to, but fighters like Duke and Clinton and McKenzie remind me of the dedication and character that made British boxing famous. They were not only great in the ring, but also wonderful people. And if it wasn't for them, I would not have uh, learned combat sports. And thanks, Duke and Clinton. Blake has to walk onto the punches. Doggedly coming forward. But having to swallow a lot of punching. Beautiful. Three in a row. All over. They both proclaim victory, but Clinton McKenzie has done it on points. That's a fine comeback win by Clinton McKenzie, the former European and British light welterweight champion. At the age of 32, 18 months out of the ring, he comes back tonight and has a really superb victory. It's good to see the old skills back. Blake meets defeat for the second time in a row. <laughs> Finding the range, and he's beginning to punish Early considerably in this fourth round. And Earl is in trouble. He's in real trouble. And that might be the end. He's looking at his corner. He's looking at the referee, Jim Brimmel. But he doesn't seem to be comprehending too much, but he's beaten the count. And he's bleeding from the mouth. And Mackenzie has set him up for the finish, and it's over. What a defence that is by Mackenzie. Steve Early, stopped comprehensively by Clinton McKenzie. Well, for three rounds, Early looked as though he was going to make a real championship battle of it. And then suddenly in that last round, McKenzie began to... before it and Magri nearly went over and suddenly Magri is over and suddenly Charlie's European title is hanging by a thread and the towel has come in from Terry Lawless. Lawless has seen enough he's pulling his man out of the fight in the fifth round that's a merciful gesture by Terry Lawless who acts like a father to his boxers and he's seen enough he doesn't want Magri to take any more he waves the towel at the referee and Magri has been pulled out of the fight in the fifth round, the same way he was pulled out of the, the world title fight with Sot Chitalada. Well, we all know what Duke McKenzie went on to achieve. Three times a world champion at three different weights. McKenzie, from that fighting family, brothers Clinton, Winston and uh, Dudley, all pros. 
He's had to come a fair way north for this fight, but he's been in sparkling form so far. Last 20 seconds to the end of the fourth. Good little right, doubles up that right hand. Mackenzie again, and I thought Davison was going to go, but he's staying up. Although the fight is going overwhelmingly, Duke Mackenzie's way. And that's it. It's all over. And absolutely right as well. Right on the bell. John Davison will be desperately disappointed, but Duke Mackenzie, a brilliant performance. Workout. Oh no, he's extending himself. Oh, perfect right hand punch there. Oh dear. I'm amazed that he, he rolled up like that. Well, that should be it, I think. Uh, yeah, it was a smart move there, Hargreaves. Walked away, the referee had to catch up with him. He yeah. made a couple of seconds of that. If he's to cling oh. on now, not give uh, Duke any uh, room, any leverage. No, it's uh, uh, it's, it's all over by the, the shouting, and it isn't any shouting, because the crowd know it, and I think Hargreaves knows it, and now the referee knows it. It's all over in the third round. And I must say, a very impressive so-called warm-up, and a good game opponent there in this fellow Mark Hargreaves and the referee saying you did well boy but there from here Mackenzie goes on to fight Robinson